major engineering works okay. at Aqua Empire. Check the size of this thing. This is going to be our new plant rack. It's 1.5 meters long. I don't even know how wide it is. It goes way back. Check it out. So we're going to have all the rows of plants coming in. And we've got two of them. So Zabir and Atwell are in charge of sorting that out. They're getting that running. Power. Power. I haven't even reached the back yet. That's how big it is. Yeah, that's going to hold. How many plants do you reckon it's going to hold? This must hold. Like maybe 120. No, more. Yeah. 150. 180. 180 times 2, 360. Yeah. Quite a good number. Well, it's tough. Now I see something interesting coming along here. What's this about? Check this. We're going to do a small beta scale. Beta scale? Yeah. Okay. But using the new stuff. Okay. New, new stuff. Come check it. What new stuff? Check it. Okay. Let me show you these first. We're going to use the new yeah. Dua Terra tape yeah. and the Dua Terra line. So these okay. are meant for terrariums, palladariums, and also aquascaping. Okay. You can use it as well. Well, so you'll explain that to yeah. us. I wonder what that's for now. Check yeah. oh, What? Yes. So yes. Okay, this box under it is all your Monte Carlos. Yeah. <laughs> Monte Carlos? No, no. I buy all the Monte Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> you have no more stock. It's <laughs> But yeah. check it, it's, so we launched this uh, now. It's for the new Jeez, Dua, yeah. um, you know the new Dua eighty-eight terrariums, the yes, palladariums, yes, yes, the air yes. glasses, the yeah, terra yeah, base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I can't wait for okay, that. Okay, so these are the mini orchid range. We've got four species at the moment mm -hmm. that's ready to go to all the ADA stores. Mm -hmm. This is one of them. Look, it's already flowering. Now mm -hmm. see. And these here, basically, we grow them on wood over about a year. Right. And then you can just cut. A year. Yeah. Okay. It takes a while to get sure. them to stage. And they don't get bigger than that, set. That's it, full grown. Yeah, so you could have something like that on, 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 I mean, this is a little, what was this, a 30 centimeter yeah. starfire. So these are all so could fit basically there. fully grown. Look at the root structures on these. The mini yeah, check the, it's, it's tied up now. It's mm. got like this little threads. You just need to cut them off. Right. Okay. And then basically the roots do attach very nicely. You can see over here. To the wood, mm -hmm. you can just take them <laughs> off. Okay, so let me show you how to use the terra tape. You can wrap it around wood or rocks or whatever. Any, anything. Right, and you can just tear it off. Okay, easy enough. Okay, and then you just need a spray bottle. Spray bottle. And then it becomes quite, it blends in with the wood now, right? Oh, you can and really it's see also it. then it's bound, it's now bound together, so it's like quite solid. Right. It's not going to slip off, you know, it's soft. Then you so can, you just wind it up, that's it, it holds yeah, itself. That's it, and then you take your orchid, yeah. attach it onto that. And then you use terra line. Terra line? Terra line. Mm -hmm. It's like cotton, doesn't deteriorate. And you just wrap the terra line over that, tie a knot, and your orchid is now attached to this piece of wood. Easier said, and that terra line lasts how long? Terra line lasts forever. Forever? No, no, it's so then it's on, you're done, that's it. And the nice oh, thing about enough, this, it? Rich, I'll show yeah. you, yeah. yeah, is if you run the terra tape yeah. just below your water line. The terra tape can travel up to about 8 meters. So it'll draw water. It'll draw the meters. water all the way up and you can attach aquatic mosses, orchids, air plants, whatever you want. So you can even do like Christmas moss. You can do head. Christmas moss coming out of your tank. Out of the way tank. To the top. Hey, that's wonderful. Man. Hey? Beautiful. Something new, boy. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Hitson, tell us, how do you look after these things now? Let me show you guys. So these orchids, you have to drench them in summer when it's really hot. Mm -hmm. You drench them twice a week. But when I say drench, you, you literally drench them. Okay, so all the roots, everything gets really, really wet. Mm -hmm. Okay, then you can also, let me just make it a little tight here. Yeah? But drench it. How often? Twice, twice a week when it's really hot. 
and then in winter time you can do it once a week once a week yeah but drench it and then don't spray them every day and so on they need like a bit of a dry period and the water that's in there this any is specific just, water this is just normal tap water but if the water is going to be falling into your tank i would just use your tank water so oh because tank has got a bit of nutrients yeah, in it as well and it's anti-chlorine and sure sure perfect yeah. easy we're quite excited about all of this because it brings a whole new aspect to the hobby. You know, we're no longer just planting aquatic plants in the aquarium. Now, you know, we're expanding out of the aquarium. And you saw in that little beta tank there, uh, you know, the, the outside of the aquarium is bigger than the aquarium in the, itself. So exciting things to come.